Archie Harrison is on his first trip outside of Europe. Alongside his parents, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the family landed in Cape Town, South Africa on Monday. Although the titler has yet to make a public appearance in the country, he is already playing a role in the Sussex family's official visit to Southern Africa. The four-month-old has been given a traditional South African Kosa name, Nzika. The name was chosen by the community's grandmothers and means pillar of strength. Kosa is a Ngunibantu language with click consonants and is one of the official languages of South Africa. According to Jessica Dewhurst, the executive director of the Justice Desk, visitors who come into township communities and engage with local people are usually given a traditional name. Ms. Dewhurst told TNC, the reason we chose that was mostly because Archie means the same thing that Nzika does. So Archie means strength, it means bravery and the South African equivalent of that is Nzika. When you get your traditional name it's what you will look up to be. So when they give you a name it's your wish for you and your future. Little Archie was given the name as Meghan and Harry visited the Nyanga Township in Cape Town on Monday. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited the area, where crime rates and poverty are high, to see the work of projects helping to empower women and young people. Both of them made speeches at the event before they were presented with a hoodie for Archie and his traditional name was announced. Ms. Dewhurst met Harry after receiving her Queen's Young Leaders Medal for the organization's work in 2016. She told how Meghan and Harry responded to the gift, they said they absolutely loved it. They said thank you so much. They wanted to put on the hoodie and I said Harry that's too small for you. They loved the fact that our presents were for Archie, they love the fact that they've brought him here and they can't wait for him to experience the country. She added, for them to come here, it's them saying that this work is so important they believe in it and they're encouraging us to keep going and working hard. Meghan Markle was presented with a new name for son Archie to mark his first visit to South Africa as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex kicked off their third tour abroad. Meghan Markle appeared moved as she was presented a certificate recognizing the Kosa name the Niagara community in Cape Town chose to give Archie Harrison Mount Baden Windsor. Meghan and Prince Harry looked on filled with emotion as Justice Desk staff announced the township's grandmother had decided to gift the young royal with a new name. Executive Director Jessica Dewhurst said, You gave him the name Archie. The name Archie means bravery and strength. So we've given him the traditional South African name Zika. This name of Kosa African origin means pillar of strength. May he always be a pillar of strength for those who need him. The Duchess was seen beaming during the announcement as the crowd of supporters cheered when the name selected for baby Archie was revealed. Archie does not have an official title as his parents are believed to have accepted an offer to have him styled at birth. The baby is to be known as Master until his grandfather Prince Charles takes on the crown, as direct descendants of the sovereign are automatically granted a royal title. Meghan and Harry arrived at Nyanga after landing in Cape Town on Monday morning to begin their 10-day tour of Africa. The couple will attend as many as 86 events during their stay, with the Duke taking off from South Africa later in the week to visit Angola, Malawi, and Botswana. The Duchess of Sussex will remain in Cape Town with son Archie where she will attend several solo engagements. During their visit at Justice Desk, where they attended a workshop on children's self-defense, the Duke and Duchess shared the stage to deliver a speech to their supporter. Meghan said, while I am here with my husband as a member of the royal family, I am here with you as a woman, as a wife, as a woman of color and as your sister. I am here with you and I am here for you. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will take on as many as 86 official engagements in the next few days, including a solo visit by Meghan to Mothers to Mothers, an organization helping parents living with HIV, added to the already packed schedule only a few hours ago. While the couple's visits have been made public, it remains unclear whether Archie will take part in any official engagement or will be seen at all within the next days. The family of three is traveling travel together across South Africa, focusing on Cape Town and Johannesburg. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry want to have as little formality as possible during their tour, according to AIDS. 
Security officers will protect the royals at all time, but the Duke and Duchess want their engagements to be relaxed and allow them to meet and speak to as many people as possible.